Today we're going to continue with m multiplying polynomials and this is part two. So let's get started. I have 2x minus 4 times 3x plus 6. Okay? I'm going to show you two different methods and you decide which one you like to use. Uh, but I'm going to show you the one that I prefer, and you'll see why once I do it, okay? So I have um, 2x minus 4 times 3x plus 6, okay? I'm going to take this first term and multiply it times the first term in the second on the second polynomial. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. I'm going to take the first number and multiply it times the second term in this, on this polynomial. 2x times 6 is plus 12x. Then I'm going to take my second term and multiply it times the first term. Negative 4 times 3x is a negative 12x. And I'm going to take this second term again and multiply it times the second term, which is a negative 24. And this should be an x right here. All right. So now I'm going to combine my like terms. I only have an x squared, so I'm going to bring it down to 6x squared. I have a 12x and a negative 12x, which is which is zero x's. So they're going to cancel each other out because one is positive and one is negative. They're going to cancel each other out minus 24. So this is the solution. Okay? This is the first method. The method that I prefer is called the box method. And now since I have two I'm multiplying two binomials, I'm going to make a two by two box. And I'm going to multiply these two. So you have two x minus four and a 3x plus 6. If you notice, I wrote each term in each box here, on this side and on this side. Okay? This re reason why I like this method is because this reminds me of a multiplication chart that, um, that most probably everybody's used. So, let's do the multiplication. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. 6 times 2x is 12x. And 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. All right. Now that I've done my multiplication, I just need to combine my like terms. If you notice, I have a, uh, an x, a 6x squared. This is the only x squared that I have, so I'm just going to bring that down. I have a negative 12x and a positive 12x. Since they're, since they're opposite like terms, they cancel each other out. And I'm left with a minus 24. Okay? And, and I hope you see why I prefer this method over here more than this method. Um, this method is great. I mean, it's a great method. Um, but to me, you have all, you have all these lines that, that can get confusing, okay? Over here, it's sort of nice and neat. Everything is organized. And I can really see my, um, my numbers here, my boxes. Okay? Let me, let me let you try one. Negative... Um, 2x plus 3 times x squared plus 6x. Okay? If you will please pause the video and you work the problem the way you prefer to work it, and then I'll work it both ways. Or if you want to work it both ways and see if we end the same thing, you can do that too. Please pause the video now. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back. Let's do the first method. We have negative 2x plus 3 times x squared plus 6x, okay? So I'm going to multiply my negative 2x times x squared. I'm going to multiply these two. That's going to give me negative 2x cubed. I'm going to multiply my negative 2x times my 6x, which will give me negative 12 x squared. Then I will multiply my 3 times my x squared, which is a plus 3x squared. And I'll multiply my 3 times my 6x, which is a positive 18x. All right. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. Since this is the only x cubed that I have, I'm just going to bring that down. Negative 2x cubed. Then I have a negative 12x squared and a positive 3x squared, which gives me a negative 9x squared plus my 18x. Now, if you don't understand how I got my negative 9x squared, please watch the video on combining like terms, and that will help you understand that. So my final answer is negative 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 18x. Now let's do the box method, okay? So I have, I have a binomial times a binomial, so I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box. I have negative 2x and 3, I have x squared and I have 6x and I'm going to multiply. So, x squared times negative 2x is negative 2x cubed. x squared times 3 is 3x squared. 6x times negative 2x is negative 12x squared. And 6x times 3 is 18x. Okay? Since this is the only x cubed that I have, I'm just going to write that down. I have 3x squared minus 12x squared, which is negative 9x squared, and I have my plus 18x here. Same answer, different processes. Okay? All right. Let's work another one. Let's uh, multiply a binomial times a trinomial now. And you'll really start to see why I like the box method uh, once we do this. Okay? If you'll please, um, let, let's work this one first and then I'll give you one to work, okay? And I'm only going to use the box method because I just, with all these lines going all over the place, that's too confusing. And plus, it, it some, my, I sometimes lose my signs, okay? So, um, let, let me do both of them, okay? Okay, so you have 3x plus 6. So you can see what I'm talking, so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, I have 3x times 4x squared, which is 12x cubed. I have 3x times negative 8x, which is negative 24x squared. I have 3x times negative 3, which is a negative 9x. Now, I need to multiply this by all my terms. 6 times 4x squared is a plus 24x squared. 6 times negative 8x, which is a negative 48x. And I have 6 times negative 3, which is negative 18. Well, look, look at all these lines that's going on here. To me, that, to me, that can be confusing. And plus, 
I may have made a mistake with my sign, so let me just let me just make sure. 3x times 4x squared is 12x cubed. 3x times negative 8x is a negative 24x squared. 3x times negative 3 is a negative 9x squared. 6 times 4x squared is a positive 24x squared. 6 times negative 8x is a negative 48x. 6 times negative 3 is a negative 18. Okay, all my signs are right. All right. So, I need to combine my like terms. I only have 1x cubed, so I'm just going to write 12x cubed. I have a negative 24x squared and a positive 24x squared. They're going to cancel each other out. I have a negative 9x and a negative 48x, which is a negative 57x. And I have this minus 18 on the end. So here's my final answer. All right. Let's do the box method. Since I have a binomial times a trinomial, I'm going to draw a 2 by 3 box. 3x, 6. 4x squared, negative 8x, minus 3. All right, and I'm going to multiply. 3x times 4x squared is 12x to the third. 3x times negative 8x is negative 24x squared. 3x times 3 is negative 9x. Just see, see how easy this is? Easier than this method because to me this is all jumbled up, okay? Um, 6 times 4x squared is 24x squared. 6 times negative 8x is negative 48x. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. All right, so immediately you can see the, the difference, okay? I only have 1x cubed, so I'm just going to write 12x cubed. I have a negative 24x squared and a positive 24x squared. They're going to cancel each other out. Then I have negative 9x and negative 28x, which leaves me with negative 57x. And then I have my negative 18 on the end. Same answer, different processes. Okay. Now let me give you one to work. And you decide which method you're going to use, but I'm only going to use the box method. Okay. Negative 4x plus, um, for, negative 4x squared plus um, 3x times um, x squared minus 12x minus 6. Alright? If you'll please pause the video and, and multiply those two polynomials, please. Thank you. Alright, welcome back. Uh, again, I'm just going to use the box method. Since I have a three, a two by three polynomial, I'm only going, I'm going to make a two by three box. So that's four x squared, three x, that's x squared, negative 12 x, minus six. All right. Make sure everything is written down correctly. Okay. So let me just multiply. Four x squared times x squared is four x to the fourth. 4x squared times negative 12x is negative 48x cubed. 4x squared times negative 6 is negative 24x squared. 3x times 3x squared is 3x to the third. 3x times negative 12x is negative 36x squared. 3x times negative 6 is negative 18x. Alright, 
So now I just need to combine my like terms. This is the only x to the fourth that I have, so I'm going to write 4x to the fourth. I have a negative 48x to the third and a positive 3x to the third. That's going to leave me with negative 45x to the third. I have a negative 24x squared and a negative 36x squared, which is going to leave me with a negative 60x squared and my minus 18x. All right? And my exponents are in descending order. So this is a standard form. This is my final answer. All right. I hope that helped you out. Um, the next video will be on multiplying um, trinomials to trinomials. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit mathwithmoon.org for future videos to leave your comments and suggestions. Have a great day. Bye.